All right, I just pulled in my 1977 Sears 14.6. I bought this tractor about five years ago. Gave $100 for it, the Tecumseh that was in it. To be honest, I didn't want it. And the guy that sold the tractor didn't want to get rid of it. He wanted to keep it. So, And the reason I didn't want it, my intentions were to put a diesel engine in this thing. And that's what I did. And the reason I did that is I wanted a tractor that I knew was going to have the power to do what I wanted it to do. And, well, I guess it's overkill, but it's got the power. This tractor pretty much came looking like you see it. It was pretty rough. I did notch the fender. The fender was in pretty bad shape, so that didn't bother me. Uh, the, and I've got another fender pan there that uh, is in good shape. So when I do this project, I'm going to switch out that fender. I've got another rear hitch. Since the reason I notched it is I had the incorrect hitch on it. I didn't have any hitches to fit these 77s. They take a special hitch. Well, since then, I've gotten three or four of them. And so uh, I've got the right hitch on here now. And uh, so I won't have to worry about that on the next... Uh, the next fender pan there. This seat came off of the tractor I blew up and it wasn't cracked at all. And you can see what's happened to it. Just the cold weather. I use this tractor to push snow. And when that vinyl gets cold and you sit in it, it cracks. And I've got another seat coming, I hope. And it'll be a better seat. I'm gonna lower that down. I've got a custom bracket that it's sitting on. Let me show it to you. Uh, instead of the two springs that typically uh, was on these tractors I wanted it to where it would tilt up so I made this seat pan and it's too tall so I think I'm going to cut that down maybe an inch inch and a half I think that's going to be low enough and uh, that'll do what I want it to do all right the next project or the main project is to replace this front clip. That's the one I did in the previous video. Clean this engine up. It is pretty rough looking. And you can see here where somebody has welded in. I put this bracket on there for when I run a deck to make sure that it doesn't rub against this. And that worked out pretty good. So, But I haven't been running a deck on this lately. The exhaust. This is the original muffler, and to get this to fit in here, I had to slide this piece back quite a ways. Well, what I'm and it's hard to get that battery in and out of there. So what I'm going to do is eliminate the exhaust. I just welded a piece on, and let me take you around here, and it comes out underneath the the clutch pedal there. So I'm going to completely remove this muffler. I'm going to cut it either here or up here somewhere, get some black iron pipe, and it's what I did on the other 14.6 with the Predator. I'm going to weld that onto this with a 90 degree elbow, and I may turn it down just a little to get it to clear underneath the hood when the hood's down and then run a short pipe out and just screw a regular muffler on there. I think that's going to be sufficient for this thing. So that's my uh, one of the things I want to change when I do this project. Uh, that's one of the main things. I've got to check that starter end or the flywheel sometimes, and, and it's done it since it was almost new, shortly after I got it, and every now and then it won't engage. So I don't know if I've got a bare spot on my flywheel or teeth on the starter or what's going on. But I've got to take care of that. I'm going to throw a quickie paint job on this. I don't plan on replacing any decals. I'll just tape them up. Decals aren't in the worst shape in the world. So I'm just going to, I'm going to tape everything up and uh, just to make it look a little bit better. Like I said... In my last video this is not going to be a show tractor I want this thing to be a, you know like it is a work tractor 
And with that diesel engine in there, I'm telling you, this thing is a hoss. So, I would love to be able to figure a way to reroute this. I had to cut this hood, and I've got another hood, so and this hood was in pretty bad shape. And I've got some edging. I just put uh, some duct tape or masking tape or uh, electrical tape on this just to, to break the edge. But I've got some edging molding that I'm going to put on here and do something a little bit better. And it fits perfectly in this groove in my air filter. And it kind of looks pretty good if you ask me with that uh, sticking out like that. So... But what I'm going to do is start taking this thing apart. I said I was going to wait until after plow, but uh, after I plow the garden. But I'm going to go ahead and do this because I have my 18.6. I'll put the hitch back on it, and I'll use it to plow the garden if this one's not ready. But I think I can have it ready by then. And so hopefully in the very near future, I'm going to get started on this thing and knock this thing out. This is uh, my favorite work tractor. This is, uh, I bought this tractor to take the place of the 10-6 to be my work tractor, and I was going to use the 10-6 to mow with. And I gave that 10-6 to my son, and I picked up another one out of Ohio, had a blown engine in it, and I put a little Predator in it. I know you guys hate that, but that's just, just that's your opinion. Everybody's entitled to it, so uh, whatever. But uh, that, that tractor did a little bit of work on it, got it running, and it mows. It's got a real good deck on it. So that'll be my mowing tractor. This is going to be my gardening and snow removal tractor. All right, I've gone on long enough. I will update as I do this project and show you the progress. Thanks for watching.